Okay, I'm going to show you how uh, database mirroring and replication is working together. And basically, as you have been uh, reading on my blog, then this it's quite easy to set up. First of all, this is Survival Kit 3, so therefore you have seen how to set up database mirroring. You have set up, seen how to create a small application that are using database mirroring. And now we we'll look at replication. Imagine a situation where you have a sales office in let's say Germany and your headquarter is in uh, Denmark then, then you want to replicate data to the sales office in Derm Germany and you want to use what is called transactional replication because you want all changes to be sent down there you don't, you don't want them to be able to update and you don't want any conflict handling so basically you just want a one-way transactional replication and therefore, what we need is that we need a place uh, replication, but before that, we have already set up database mirroring. So what I could do now is, it's quite easy, I could set up replication, as you see here, we still have our SQL3 database, so I could set up replication uh, pointing, where I have a publisher from this database. The problem is that when this one is changed over to being a mirror, and the database here, refresh sorry uh, is changed over to be a principal then my replication does not work so what we need to do is we need to do some few trick, uh, tricks and I have written five points that you need to do first of all you need to set up mirroring we have done that in uh, survival kit one and two what we need now is to create a distributor and I expect that you know a little bit about replication before we start here uh, if not then find uh, one of my blogs about replication Basically, what I will do first is on the principal database server instance. Sorry, I will right-click and configure distribution. Click next, and I decide in my case that it will be that my one instance here that will be my distributor. That's not very clever, but it's a demonstration, so you can do whatever you want to. Click next, I decide that my files should be stored at here. Yeah. Next, the database name and where the data file and log file are stored. I don't care about that in this demonstration. And then we have publishers. For now, I know I have, of course, this instance as a publisher, but I click add. And then I know that if I switch roles in the mirroring, then Exclusive 2 will also be a publisher. So I accept that it is also a publisher here. If I want to connect Exclusive 2 to this distributor, then they must enter a password. So I click the password that they must enter. Next. And now I have set up the distributor on SQL3 on this one, and you can see it by having a database called distribution. When you do it live, if you have another server and another instance, then place the distributor on its own server. Go to SQL Server 2 and I find my application. I right click and I click Configure Distribution. I click Next. Use the following server as the distributor. Yes, and I use my SQL Server 3 because I enter the password that I have required. The reason that I'm using uh, SQL Server 3 is that the principal and the mirror must both, or the partners in a mirroring session must use the same distributor. So that's it. Now done step one, set up the mirror. Uh, step two, set up distributor on the principal server. And three, set up the distributor on the mirror server. Now I want to do the last thing at uh, my principal server and let's set up a publication here. I right click, sorry, oops, I lost my mouse, new publication, I'll do it quite fast because you know everything about the application, I click next, it's a payment database, I want to have a transactional publication, I want to have a customer table, I want to create a snapshot immediately, and I want to really have a nice security, that's the benefit of having anything, everything on one server, and uh, in a demonstration lab you don't need to think about security but of course when you set it up you must be aware of the security settings I can okay. Next, create the publication, I call it customers. 
finish. Right. Now when it's a uh, transactional uh, replication, what I always do is I always right click, start looking at the snapshot agent, you can see it is running. I log and publish tables by generating the snapshot. I take it away. And that's done now. And then I click on the log reader agent and I can see it's all working now. I'm happy the replication is working. I right click, launch the replication monitor. I add a publisher. You can see that it's good. 3 is added, so I also. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. I can see I have both publishers here. To close it. And now I'm ready to do the last tip. And I will show it my way. You can do it 100 ways. But it's because I have a, a, a point here. I have two agents here running, and it's a snapshot agent and a log reader agent, and they must be set up to point to the mirrored server to the failover partner. So I all agents and this is my point is running as SQL server agent jobs. So what I just need to do is I need to click on the job, click properties, steps, step two, edit, and then I can go down here and I can write publish your failover partner. That's it. Okay. Right click, properties, steps. That's it. Okay. 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 That's it. And now to be sure, then I'm, I just stop the jobs. I cannot stop the water because it's a snapshot agent and it's not running. For now. And then I start this one. And look at it and see if I've done everything correctly. It's in progress. That's it. If I look here, the next CS group 03, I can see I have a publication. I right click the database, properties, mirroring, and do a failover. That's it. I refresh. What I can see is now this is mirror. And look at this now. Right click, refresh. Our publication is gone. I go down here on the Xcode 2 and I right click, right click refresh and now I have my publication down here. Brilliant, it's working. So I need to refresh. Let's set up a subscription. We imagine that SQL1 is the German sales office. So I this is a publication. I just use a push subscription. Don't think about this here. I want to have a subscriber at SQL1. I create a new database called Repli Replicated Data. Okay. Once again, don't think about security here. Just click next, next, next. This is simply just setting up a subscriber. Let's see if everything is working. That's, that's it. So let's select this table on this row 2. This is our main table for customers. Let's go down to the new database that I replicated to. Right click, select for customers. Let's try to add a row here, gift customer, it, close it, see if it's there. Now it's there in the replicated database. So what I'll do now is that I will fail over this. Let's do some checks. We'll refresh. Now it's a mirror. Refresh, application is gone from SQL2, go up here, refresh, click here, 
Greenfish and here I now have the publication on SQL3. So let's open this one. Like this and my sixth customer. And here it's about relaxing and taking it easy because it can take a lot of time, but let's wait for one minute or so. Um, what I can see is that I can now go down here and I can right click launch replication monitor. And what I can see is here is something about retrying phase. At some point, some point we will succeed and then the data will be transferred. You can see now we have poor performance. Latency 123, and you can see I have my sixth custom. Don't get nervous, it takes time and you need to investigate. And we are not experts in uh, replication and database mirroring yet, we'll become that later. But for now, it's just about getting it to work. So that's actually how you combine database mirroring and transactional replication. That is simply brilliant.